Listed on the National Register of Historic Places and designated as an official project of the Save America's Treasures program, the Eli Whitney Boarding House has served as Preservation Connecticut's headquarters since 1989. Constructed in 1827, the boarding house served as a residence for unmarried male workers at the Eli Whitney Armory. It was at that site, located across Whitney Avenue, that workers produced rifles for the United States government in the early 19th century, and where Eli Whitney and his employees experimented with the concepts of interchangeable parts and precision machining in the manufacturing process. One of many buildings that made up the industrial village that centered on Eli Whitney's armory, today the boarding house is the only surviving residence in one of only three structures, including the neighboring barn and a storehouse across the street, that survived from the time of the original factory. In an effort to save and subsequently preserve this nationally significant building, the then Connecticut Trust for Historic Preservation purchased the boarding house in 1989 and undertook a several year restoration project in the early 1990s. Since that time, many projects, including surface and window restorations, the installation of a new roof, structural stabilization and energy efficiency projects, including the installation of solar panels, have all ensured the security, usability, and sustainability of the boarding house as both a historic site and a functioning office. In 2018, it was observed that exterior paint on the boarding house had begun to fail and a future paint project was slated for the boarding house's upcoming preservation plans. In January of 2020, Preservation Connecticut was awarded a Historic Restoration Fund grant from the Connecticut State Historic Preservation Office in the amount of up to $20,000 for exterior painting, window reglazing, and related carpentry work. The scope of work was reviewed with the assistance of board member and architect Rick Weiss and put out for a competitive bid in June 2021. Four bids were received and the lowest qualified bidder chosen was Valley Restoration LLC of Torrington, whom had worked on the surface restoration and paintwork at the First Church of Christ in Old Saybrook in 2020, a project which was partially funded by Preservation Connecticut's maintenance and repair grant for religious properties. Shortages of supplies and a wet painting season delayed the start of the project until August. Per the Secretary of the Interior Standards for the Treatment of Historic Properties, the surface was scraped and sanded by hand, a process which took several workers approximately a week to complete. Once sanded, the surface was clean and painted with a top quality Sherwin-Williams primer and two coats of Sherwin-Williams duration. On surface preparation, several areas of rot and animal damage were identified and repaired. Four window cells were also identified early on as needing repair, and the Cooper Group, a window restoration and carpentry firm from Pawkatuck, was subcontracted to repair them. Rotted sections of the sills were removed and repaired using Spanish cedar and a technique known as a Dutchman. Other repairs included the restoration of a broken storm window and the installation of storm windows in the basement, repair of glass in the basement windows, and the reconstruction of the rear bulkhead door. All windows were reglazed and repainted as well. The work, largely delayed by weather, took about six weeks to complete. Great care was taken by Preservation Connecticut staff to ensure that work was done to proper standards. We happily report that the project came in under budget at $26,815, half of which will be reimbursed by the State Historic Preservation Office. Preservation Connecticut staff is extremely proud of our headquarters and are delighted to see the boarding house looking its best once again.